Hi, I'm Ali Velsi with MSNBC. Senate Republicans say the text of the Constitution only allows sitting presidents to be tried. But Democrats argue there is precedent that the Senate has tried former officials in the past. So who's right? I'm teaming up with the National Constitution Center for a more perfect union to answer your burning questions about the Constitution. And joining me is Jeffrey Rosen. He's the president and the CEO of the National Constitution Center. Jeff, settle this argument. Is a Senate impeachment trial of a former president unconstitutional? The text of the Constitution isn't clear. Article 2, Section 4 says the president, vice president, and other civil officers shall be impeached for uh, and removed from office for high crimes and misdemeanors. And the question is, if you can't be removed from office, can you be impeached? The argument that you can says it doesn't make any sense that an officer should be able to resign right before he's impeached and avoid the trial. And in fact, in 1876, uh, Secretary of War William Belknap tried to resign when he was accused of corruption. The House impeached him and the Senate tried him anyway. So that's a precedent in favor of allowing the trial to go forward. The argument on the other side, it, just based on the text, and it says, it says you have to be removed once you're convicted, and if you can't be removed, then you can't be tried. In the end, how you feel may turn on what you think the purpose of impeachment is. If the purpose is to deter a president from bad behavior in office, it doesn't make sense to try a former president. If the purpose is to protect the United States from a corrupt president and hold him accountable for his actions in office, then the trial should go ahead. In the end, it's up to the Senate to decide. Uh, the Constitution gives the Senate sole power to try impeachments. The Supreme Court's unlikely to intervene here. Chief Justice John Roberts decided not to preside over this trial. But all that tells us is that the Chief Justice doesn't think he has an obligation to preside over the trial of a former president. It doesn't tell us whether he thinks the trial is constitutional or whether he thinks the Supreme Court should intervene. And the Supreme Court has generally said that the Senate has extremely broad discretion to make up, broad discretion to make up its own mind. So that's it, Ali. Uh, the text is unclear. There, are, there's precedent saying the trial can proceed, but ultimately the Senate, the Senate's will d decide, and each of our viewers should decide on their own based on what they think the purpose of impeachment is. All right, the Constitution and the precedent are unclear, but you, as always, Jeff, uh, very clear in your explanation of it. We appreciate that. Jeffrey Rosen is the president and the CEO of the National Constitution Center.